We want to go out and burn, make it black around the, the edge of the pasture. What that does is give you a bumper then when you do the big burn. The head fire can run into that back burn and there's no fuel there so it, it'll go out on its own. When we do a burn, we'll come out in the evenings and do back burns when the humidity is high and the wind is low and we'll try and get a black line 50 to 100 yards wide all the way around the pasture. Then when the conditions are right like it was this year and it's very low humidity and we can get a real good hot fire and kill those little cedar trees, we feel we're, we have a, a safe enough environment to do that. terrain is smooth enough that we can drive it with an ATV, so we'll take a propane torch, turn her up high, and just roll right along with the propane torch. It sounds crazy, but sometimes you have to go fast so the fire doesn't pass you. You have to keep ahead of it, and if you stop and refill your drip torch, then you know you can, you can get outrun by your own fire, and we don't want that. We use the same crew for the last six years and everybody kind of knows their job and responsibilities and uh, we've been working together quite a while and, and it works real good. We work with the local fire department, kind of make a, a social event out of it and a little training and uh, it works out good for everybody. So we always run the the wet line first, and then we, we run the torch right beside the wet line, and in theory it burns into the wind slow and burns up to that wet line and goes out. We burn the whole pasture to number one control invasive species, which is the eastern red cedar. Some people think, well what does them little trees hurt? Well when them little trees grow into 10 foot trees, they can use up to 30 gallons of water a day. We'll take that times all the trees that you see, and um, that's a huge, that's a huge draw off your water, and that's water that the grass doesn't get, so it doesn't grow. It's water that the wildlife doesn't get. It's water that we can't use. I'm not doing it just to have fun. I'm doing it to get rid of these trees, and I want it to work. If I'm going to burn grass and burn what we use to make a living it's gonna count. So we probably burn on some pretty low humidity days when maybe a lot of people are being told not to, but we do it anyway. Because you want that fire to burn hot as possible. It looks black and you think it's out, and then if the humidity does drop and you're not there, it could fire up again. But if you get a really good low humidity day, and you burn your pasture and then you make sure your edges are out where it's black there's no fuel left it's not going to sit there and fire up again the very first year that you burn it'll take some of your more aggressive cool season grasses your invasives and it'll slow them down and give your warm season grasses a chance to get a little thicker or uh, seed a little better it just improves the whole pasture. It's just healthier after a burn. <laughs>